Hello and welcome to another edition of the State of the Cryptos update. We're seeing some good signs in the crypto space as well as the stock market, although we haven't had an outright breakout yet in all the cryptos, but we have reason to be optimistic. We're going to go over mainly Bitcoin, Ethereum, and several other altcoins, as well as touch on the crypto blockchain and also the stock market. We'll also look at the long-term implications of the everything top, which I've been hinting at, and how things seem to be aligning somewhat. Now, a lot of these charts will be available in the description below, so check out the links there. We're going to actually start off with Ethereum today, which is breaking out. We're sitting at 1354 right now, so that's a long way up from where we were. It looked like we were about to botch and abort our rally upside structure, but we've saved it so far. So things are a little suspenseful at the moment, but this is what we have. We had our official bottom hit on June 18th, and that was around 882. We had what we're calling a five of impulse up, marked with the circle one in green. We had a wave two, and then it looked like we had a nested one, two setup, which honestly cut a little too deep. This actually got me quite concerned that we weren't seeing what I was expecting to see, but so far we can call this a one, two of our larger third wave. And we've shot up like a rocket. This is exactly what you want to see in not just a third wave, but the third of the third wave where the MACD is stretched. That's what you want to see because on the next pulse back upwards for the larger wave three completion, you won't, you won't see as much of a stretch. So in other words, we have a one, two, and a smaller one, two, and we probably have the third of the third complete. And you can actually count that as such. I'm actually going to draw it here only in Ethereum. It might get a little too tedious doing this for all the cryptos, but that's a one, two, possibly that's a bigger three, fourth. And I'd expect our fifth wave to get somewhere in that 1555 to 1660 range relatively quick. We've already come up pretty quick, but this is by Elliott Wave Theory, the strongest part of our rally structure, which is why we've gone pretty much parabolic. Now, this doesn't mean that we're completely out of the woods because there's a chance this is a fake out. This whole thing could be an A, B, and a C wave, or better yet, A, B, and a C. And that's because this could actually count as a B wave. We didn't have a lower low here relative to here. So it makes it a little less of a possibility but it's still a possibility nonetheless. A running flat is what we would call that. If we can hold on and get ourselves all the way up past 1555, that'd be a very good sign. Then would be the ultimate test. We need to see this thing come back down to, well, we need to keep at least maintaining 1306. That's the 0.764 extension. If we can hold that low of 1306, we should be able to get on the rally. So in summary, we need to see a slightly higher high, a low that holds 1306, and one more strong and full rally that takes us past 1709. If we can get that, that will be an even more bullish impulse. That is a much bigger and more confidence inspiring structure. We're going to touch on that on the big picture in just a second. I'm going to go through some of the other cryptos. I, of course, headlined with Ethereum because it has the cleanest pattern. When you look at Bitcoin, it's not looking as, as nice. So you got your one, two, maybe another one, two. It's looking a little sketchy. We're not seeing a full out breakout just yet. We're going to have to look for some more upside action. Bitcoin Cash, again, we haven't really had much here. We're seeing a bounce, so I'm not going to spend too much time there. Ethereum Classic is another coin, which is giving us what we're, what we're expecting to see. We got a one, two, nice deep second wave, and you could call this another nested one, two, and we're very likely getting ready to complete the third of the third at least. So watch this thing to at least get to 1881, something like that. Bigger third wave up to $20, $22. And finally, our fifth wave should get us into this box, which, well, it still applies. Going to adjust this down somewhere between $22.99 and $24.28. Same applies here. Once we get a pullback off of that, that would be a very bullish sign. This is Litecoin. Similar action. Not going to spend too much time on this. Uh, moving on to Dash. Not as encouraging. We are seeing a bounce off the bottom, but it's not the most bullish action. Chainlink. Relatively sideways, we're not seeing a breakout yet, but we can salvage this as we haven't had a lower low. So you could count it the same way as with Ethereum. Stellar Lumens, we had a lower low and a bounce, kind of like Bitcoin Cash. And finally, EOS, which is looking kind of ambiguous, a lot like Bitcoin. So right now, looks like Ethereum and Ethereum Classic are leading the charge. Now, where have we been in terms of the markets in general? Well, it's been a pretty bullish week. In the stock market overall, this is the ES Mini Futures, which I keep referring back to. And the reason I keep referring back to the S&P 500 and or the Dow is that we've seen common inflection points in cryptos and the stock market over the past several years. And even in these micro timescales, we're seeing similar. When we take a look closer, we have a clear A 
and a B wave. The reason I see this as an A wave is that's clearly a three wave rally. It's not a full five of impulse. And well, this is the best way to interpret it. You have an A, B, and a C. And therefore, our next leg of the rally would be a C wave. Now, this could end up being a third wave. Not totally sure. It's very hard to calculate anything or project anything with confidence when you don't have any five wave impulses. So we're in correctionville. Everything's all whipsaw with lots of three wave zigzag patterns. And while that could be a fake out rally with a ugly pullback coming to give us an even lower low, there's a chance that that top, it, that top could actually be a first wave of much bigger structure. So we're not going to spend too much time on the stock market because you guys are obviously here for crypto. So of course, as I mentioned, I headline with Ethereum. So I'll continue with Ethereum on the big picture chart. And we still have our MACD divergence, which means that as we've had much lower prices, we have actually become less stretched. Most of the coins actually look even better in this regard. I don't know if Bitcoin looks quite as good. We're going to look at Bitcoin on an even longer term chart momentarily, but we have pulled back hard. And again, I'm using Ethereum as the proxy for the crypto space in general at the moment. And this has been the same theme across pretty much every asset class. We had what we call a one, two, very shallow second wave. This applies to the Dow, the S&P, and pretty much everything else, uh, probably except for energy. Third wave, this looks classic fourth wave. Well, up until we absolutely fell to the floor here, I'm actually going to take my drawings away. So that's your third wave top, A, B, C. This looks pleasant, pleasingly full. Now, there is a chance this is a one, two, three, fourth wave bounce and with a lower low to come. I sure hope that isn't the case, but I can't rule it out. But as far as I can tell right now, we're about to take off. We're in the middle of a rally and we should expect to see this complete in some kind of five wave structure, whether it's going to be an ending diagonal or an impulse that is yet to be seen. So that is Ethereum, big picture. Now I'm going to shift over to our long, long-term chart, which is Bitcoin. This chart I've been going over just to give you guys an idea of the time frame that we're looking at and where we are in the overall big picture structure. So again, this is our major third wave. This coincides with what we saw in the stock market, as well as various other asset classes and pretty much all the coins, at least the ones that have data going back that far. And even the younger altcoins, I'm counting this Time, this peak here is the top. So end of 2017, early 2018, we've had a fourth wave pullback and we are completing our fifth wave, which is almost complete. In other words, we have a one, two, three, four, and a fifth wave coming. This could be interpreted as an ending diagonal. It could be an impulse. It's really kind of in between. It doesn't really fit either. This can subdivide into a five of impulse, as can this. So nothing looks like ABCs. Other coins are different. I think Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, some of the other ones, they do actually seem to be in some kind of a diagonal kind of structure. This means that whenever we finish this rally, I know it's hard to believe because we're not seeing as much action in Bitcoin. Once this happens, that will be the everything top. That would be the top that coincides between the stock market, cryptos, energy, a lot of things. They're not all going to perfectly coincide, but they're all going to fall relatively close to each other. It's looking like 2023 so far, but we could see this going to 2024. This box is an approximation and trend channel analysis is approximate at best. It doesn't always give us an exact answer, but occasionally it does. So that's where we stand with that situation uh, as in the everything top. Bitcoin still has a strong target around 100,000, which again is hard to believe because we're sitting at 21,000. After that, we could be in a prolonged multi-year bear market, not just in cryptos, but a lot of different asset classes. However, it could be a bull market for other assets, maybe emerging world stocks, certain commodities like oil, metals, uranium. That's right. I still got you guys. Going to have updates on that soon if you follow my channel for uranium. But that brings us back to the altcoins. So we've gone over Bitcoin, Ethereum, big picture, Ethereum classic. Story isn't much different. All these patterns are very full. I really don't want to see any more downside action in anything because we're about as stretched as we can get. And well, everything is pointing the same way. We're, we actually have some confluence uh, up high in that 2023 timeframe. I know we're not seeing that in Chainlink, but certain other coins do. Here's Stellar Lumens, which has a pretty strong trend channel. It's looking at September of 2023. I already mentioned Bitcoin sometime mid to late 2023, although some of the coins do look like they could top a little earlier. Now we've talked about cryptos. I know that a lot of you are fans of the blockchain space, so go over that. Real quickly, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This is Marathon Digital Holdings or Mara. And there's reason to be bullish. I was, uh, I just, my last video was actually on Marathon and Riot blockchain. And we have a clear five of impulse. 
with a fifth wave extension. So this is exciting. There is a chance that this is actually a big ABC fake out rally. That's what the red pattern showing, but so far we're doing everything right. So knocking on wood, we're going to see a breakout and this is a stock. These are equities, Marathon and Riot. So they don't trade over the weekend on like cryptos. Therefore, we may be seeing our cryptos running ahead over this weekend and we may see Marathon and Riot catch up with furious rallies of their own. And I would fully expect that and nothing less because we really need to get going on this for it to be a convincing third of a third wave. This already looks a little sketchy because we had a one, two, and possibly a three, and we've already dipped a little further than ideal, but we can salvage this thing. We need to see this thing break out convincingly. Ideally, we get all the way up to that 919 mark for marathon. Riot is in a similar situation where we have a well, it's not as clean of an impulse structure. Our third wave didn't go as high as ideal, but it also looks less like a corrective wave because this doesn't look like an impulse of C wave. Take that for what it's worth. It's actually looking better overall. We haven't had the choppy, ugly pullbacks that we've seen in Marathon. So a lot of optimism. I'm going to close with the uh, big picture chart on the blockchain coin, blockchain coins, the blockchain stocks I was just going over. So this is Marathon. And we have some confluence for a final top somewhere in, the, well, this is actually showing Q1 to Q2. So February 2023 could be the earliest point at which we top. Uh, and when you follow the trend channel analysis, it's suggesting we could see something relatively soon. So look for this thing. We may see the blockchain stocks run ahead of the cryptos. Uh, the story is not too different for Riot blockchain in which uh, yeah, we're projecting about mid-end of January. So again, take these with a grain of salt. They are not exact uh, exact calculations. Nothing is in Elliott Wave analysis or technical analysis or anything, not even fundamental analysis, is particularly precise. So what are we looking for next? When you see follow-through, I'm going to shift back to our Ethereum chart since it's showing this most clearly. Zoom back out through a 30-minute chart. We need to see this full impulse materialize. So if you're looking to put in a big lump sum, let's wait for it. We need to get up to about 17, 1809. I did promise earlier I was going to connect that short-term picture to the long-term picture. This is the big picture chart. And I know there's a lot of clutter. This rally that we're finishing around the $1,800 neighborhood, that would be the first of this larger green first wave. Apologies for using different colors. These are all basically the purple, green pattern, whatever you want to call it. So therefore, you can go along there, ride this thing up, if we do actually go that high up, let's see what the projections are showing. So if we get to about 1800 and let's assume a 50% retrace, just to be conservative, you could see a top in the 4,500 to 5,000 range. That's about where this green one sits at the moment. We would expect to see a sharp pullback for our second wave. That would be the time to go aggressive because we'd have a very nice confirmation of what we're seeing. And well, a rally up to 4,500 or so with uh, possibly a 50% retrace would project quite high. That would take us really high, actually. So we're going to leave it at that. We are speculating at the moment. We need to see our five of impulse complete. The other key suggestion I have for anyone is that if you have a lot of cash tied up in one crypto or two cryptos, unless it's Bitcoin or Ethereum, please diversify. Altcoins are very risky. It, they are basically like speculative growth stocks. You don't know what's going to go up. You don't know what's going to crash or just go defunct, get taken offline. Don't be that person that puts everything they have into just Litecoin or just Polkadot or just Solana or just EOS. There's so many. There's abundance. You have a lot of choice. Spread out the wealth. I'm going to have plenty more updates coming your way. Subscribe so that you don't miss those. And if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to give me a like. Until next time, thank you for watching and happy trading.